Hello and welcome back again to the last day of the week, Friday, uh, the last day of our time capsule writing week. I hope you've enjoyed this week and I hope you've got some great ideas of other things you could maybe add to a time capsule if you'd like to make one uh, that you can open in 10, 15, 20 years time when you're an adult. So today, for our last day of time capsule writing, I think we've got a really nice lesson for you because today you are going to watch a, um, a, well there's a series of videos on Newsround, just click on the link on the website and you can decide to watch all of them if you want, there are quite a lot of them, I haven't watched them all. Um, or you could watch one or two of them or a few of them, it's up to you. But basically they're videos, they're about um, just under two minutes long each one and they're all about children living all over the world in different countries and they're talking about their experiences of lockdown and home learning. So some of the children are in France or Germany or Italy, other countries within Europe. Um, I think there's a boy who's in India, he's a bit younger, he's about seven. There's a couple of girls who are sisters talking in Zimbabwe. There's a boy in South Korea. So there are children from all over the world and some of them are talking in English. You'll be amazed how good some of them are at talking in English actually. And some of them are talking in their own languages and then there are subtitles along the bottom so you can understand what they're saying. So the idea is have a look at those videos and think about your own experiences of uh, home learning and being at home for the last uh, seven or eight weeks and today you're going to write a newspaper report or a news report it could be an online news report couldn't it a bit like you did for Pigeon Impossible quite a few weeks ago I've already got my headline up here so yes before I go any further have a look at the grammar lesson which is all about colons today I think particularly using colons within a list so hopefully that follows on from yesterday with the semicolons and then have a look at the checklist. So obviously, because it's a news report, I do need some kind of headline. Even if I look at a news report online, it always has some kind of headline to grab my attention. So mine's not particularly original. I'm sure you can think of something better. International lockdown lives, mine's going to be. And this is a subheading for my news report. Now, this probably isn't how I would begin my news report. I'd probably have a small introduction, which is what I've said on the checklist. But as I said yesterday, I'm always showing you how to write the introduction, so I thought I'd do something a bit different today. So you might have a small introduction just to remind people of what's going on in the world, what your report is about. And you can write about your own experiences as well. You can report on the experiences of you and your family. So you could have lockdown life in Worthing as one of your subheadings. And... Or you can choose to write about some of the experiences of children that you see in the videos. Maybe make some notes while you're watching. And you can pause, can't you, to write things down and rewind to watch the things you found interesting. So I thought I'd write a little bit about the boy who lives in India, in Chennai. And my subheading is, what is it like in India? Again, it's not the most original subheading in the world. I've used the rhetorical question, but, you know, you could, you could use some alliteration, like I've done in my um, headline. Um, lockdown life in India, um, Indian lockdown life, none of those are particularly original, I'm thinking of them off the top of my head, but I'm sure you can come up with so much better ideas. So I'm going to write about um, seven year old, and it's, his name's Kavin, or Kavin, I don't, I'm not quite sure how he says it, seven year old Kavin, and then I'm going to use a relative clause, who lives in Chennai, that's a city in India, and then I need another comma, so I've used a bit of parenthesis there with a relative clause. Seven-year-old Kevin, who lives in Chennai, and I'm using some reported speech here as well, told me, what did he say? He said he's been missing going to school actually, and he sometimes finds home learning online a bit boring. So, um, he so I'm pretending he's told me, I mean he, he didn't really, I watched it in a video, but I'm pretending I'm a news reporter, told me he's missing school and that, do you know I'm not going to keep writing because I think you get the picture and my pen is still not great is it today, so told me he's missing school and that he sometimes finds his 
home learning online a bit boring. So have a look at the checklist to help you with this today. I know that last time some of you produced some great uh, news reports, so um, I, I think you'll do good with do well with this today as well. You could do it in your home learning book, or you could do it on a separate piece of paper. And in fact, if you want to make a time capsule, you're kind of going to need to do it on a separate piece of paper, aren't you? Unless you put your whole home learning book into the the time capsule. I don't know. Might be quite nice to look back on. Um, yeah, so you might have some reported speech, you might have some direct speech and inverted commas as well, some quotes like you often see in news reports. So I hope you enjoy watching the videos today. I think they're, they're really quite interesting to watch and that you enjoy writing your news report. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you again for one last week of home learning before half term. Okay, have a great weekend. Bye.